All right, folks. We have got uh, another special for you that we thought that something maybe that you would find pretty cool. A while back, uh, in the MK Mortal Kombat community, there was the discovery of a secret inside of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3. I'm not sure about 4. No, there's not. No. Uh, but definitely the first three games, there was... It started out with a tweet from Ed Boon, who is the... Uh, the lead designer of Mortal Kombat, and he had tweeted that there were still uh, secrets and cheats and stuff that were not discovered yet. And again, these games go all the way back to, I believe it was 1992 that Mortal Kombat 1 first came out, and you had MK2 in 93 and MK3 in 95. Um, so these this tweet kind of sparked a lot of interest uh, for hardcore MK fans, and they were just like, you know, trying to kind of figure out and deduce what uh, exactly Ed Boon was talking about, and somehow, somewhere, there was enough information that was leaked originally when these games were, were put out in the arcades um, through advertisements and promos um, and, and forums online. Uh, afterwards, obviously, you know, there's most people weren't online in the early '90s there, but later on, the communities kind of put things together, and they figured out these menus. It, that's it was called the EJB menu, which uh, is Ed Boon's initials. And so today, we figured we would d demonstrate or try to demonstrate the uh, Mortal Kombat Three uh, Ultimate. EJB menu and you do it in the attract mode with a combinate a button combination of blocks on both the player one and player two so right now I haven't practiced at all I know I've done this uh, probably must be almost two years ago now maybe a little bit more when I first heard about these menus and I know that it does work for MK2 and MK3 I don't have an MK1 uh, dedicated machine but I figured I would show you guys this, and, uh, and my son Conrad wanted to uh, experience it as well. He's seen it depicted on several YouTube channels. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and, and try to get these, these button combos down and see if we can't perform it uh, fast enough um, and precise enough that we can pull that menu up. And it should just pop up. So right now... Again, it's, it's alternating between the player one block and the player two block. So it's uh, five, ten, three, one, two, two, three, four. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot, see if we can't get that menu to pull up. Uh, definitely not easy. I've been trying here for uh, a little bit with uh, no success. So let's give it another shot. Turn to the main menu there. So again, um, let me let me get a better camera angle. Just don't exit back into the test, otherwise it'll uh, it'll completely remove itself. So I'm gonna just position this camera. That way, you folks get a better uh, view of the actual menu. All right, guys. So I repositioned the camera here. As you can see. Right up top, we got the Ultimate EJB Menu. This is a Revision 1.0 board, and uh, we are just going to show you a couple of the cool things in the menu. <clears throat> I'm just going to list them off. We've got Diagnostic Tests, we got Coin Bookkeeping, Game Audits, Volume Adjustments, Credits. Now, that's where the old menu stops, 
And then the new secret part of the, uh, you know, the Easter egg part of the Ultimate EJB menu begins. Because the next in line, go back to uh, Enter Initials, you have the ability to be at any arcade, any coin-operated MK3, uh, as we're playing right now, and you could put your initials in, and it will immediately move them to the top of the leaderboard. So uh, I've done this at Fun Spot. It was kind of a cool <laughs> gag. And, I mean, the, the amount of wins that it displayed was like 100 in a row or whatever it was. It was ridiculous. But uh, just a, a neat little way to kind of brag to your friends um, without really accomplishing anything. So entering initials, that's the first thing that's kind of cool. Um, then Except you have... What's that? If you, um, even though you get your thing to the top thing, yep. if you once you shut off the game, it resets it all over. That's right. That's correct. Um, then you have the uh, it says Panaco slash Miller game, which I'm assuming is it's the like, Galaga yeah, it's type Galaga game. game. Yeah, it's like it's uh, Galaga '88 or whatnot. Um, and that's that's also in that's a that's a versus code that you can do. Um, as well, but this allows you to immediately enter into that. Then we have, uh, you enable the hiddens. So what this does is the normal uh, original version of Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate has the uh, three spots that are on the center of the character select screen. Is that correct, Conrad? Yeah. Yeah. And these three spots have the MK3 symbol, and um, <coughs> they are blank. And so, basically, through uh, playing, you can pull out and, and uh, win and have uh, the ability to, to utilize both Classic Sub-Zero, Melina, and who was the other last Ermac. guy? And Ermac. And so, basically, <coughs> this Enabled Hiddens gives you all three of those characters right off the bat. So you don't have to go through you know the agony of figuring out exactly how to get each character. And there are specific uh, things that need to be done during gameplay to be able to obtain each character. And then uh, you have the fatality demonstration. Uh, that is exactly as it sounds. Very similar to like when you're playing the 8-on-8 uh, eight eight uh -huh. and you get to the end and somebody is able to select from the, uh, the little combat icons. More like 4 on 4 actually. Is that what it is? 4 yeah, on 4? because it's a together. And then you have your error report test, which is just going to bring you back to the main menu. Again, EJB menu. It was hidden for over 20 years. I think it was around 2015, 2016 when, uh, when it was discovered. Pretty cool stuff. The, uh, the sound menu that I wanted to show you was... Uh, was pretty neat. You can kind of go through the different uh, sounds that like Dan Forden makes, um, you know, yelling Frosty and things like that. So, Conrad wanted to see if the EJB menu was possible for coming up on uh, the MK2 Plus hardware. So we have yet to try this. I have no idea if it does or does not. The code is actually quite simple in comparison to the MK3 Ultimate. It's a lot shorter. So again on. Uh, on both our player one and player two control panel, we're going to be utilizing block. And on player one, it's going to be five. On player two, it's ten. No. Oh, sorry, wrap the wrong one. Five on player one, ten on player two, two on player one, eight on player two, and then two on player one. So let's give that a shot. Five, ten, two, eight, two.
possible on MK2 Plus. Man, again, I, I was looking at that coat thinking that was uh, very, very simple. And again, I don't know why I have such a hard time with those button combos. I think I got very used to doing the MK3 button combo. Um, and I was just, ugh, that was bothering me. It's like it gets in my head mentally. I'm going to again uh, pull the, the camera over here. So as you can see, again, it is the EJB menu. I'm going to assume the same thing happens with this. Basically, when you click into something, it's going to want to go out of it. No, again, I may that. be wrong. Not with that. Not yeah, with okay, that. so that's actually a, that's a good point. So let's just go through them. Go back up. We got diagnostic tests, just like in the, uh, the normal menu. You got coin bookkeeping, just like in the normal menu. Game audits, just like normal. View uh, volume adjustment. Then we have hello. Now I know for a fact if you clicked hello, you get to see a list of people uh, that Ed Boone wanted to thank that were not on the original uh, thank you list at the end, like the credits. But then it takes you out. That's right. But that is what it is, correct? Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly. Then you have the That's enter right. initials, which is again the same thing, put you right at the top of the leaderboard. Character endings. Yes, and character endings is something actually Conrad was pretty pumped to see. He's got a uh, a lot of different view, uh, YouTube videos that he's been watching. And I haven't been able to see Sub Zero's character ending yet. Okay, cool. So we're probably going to view that. Um, I'm not going to take the risk at going into the diagnostic test menu and looking up the the volume thing, where basically I can show you the different sounds and stuff. Yeah. Because um, again, I think that once we go into that and we're not going to be able to back out of it. I may be wrong because this is a different revision um, of board, but why don't, uh, why don't we let Conrad uh, show us a little bit of character ending? He's going to kind of take us into that, so go ahead, Conrad. But Con. after Sub-Zero, then it's going to have to go all the way back. Yeah, it's going to go back to the main menu afterwards, so, so this is it. So now, so you can see it's got Kung Lao, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Baraka, Katana... And there it is. When Sub Zero failed, returned from the Outworld. This is his full ending at the end of the game. Conrad has not seen this one yet. There you go. Look at that. Okay, Scorpion, and because that's his. That's enemy. right. It has his skull right there. And yeah, and I've got uh, I've got to adjust this monitor some. Some of the, uh, the the lettering is cut off. The horizontal width coil um, isn't functioning properly. Uh, and that's because there's some some transistors or resistors or diodes that are in that inside that little circuit uh, that need to be replaced. So I get full range. So that's something I got to work on. Wasn't able to, to fully read that and comprehend what it was saying. But again, EJB menu lost for over 20 years. Um, works on the MK2 Plus hardware, even inside the beta version. Just awesome, awesome little secret that uh, popped look. up there a few years yeah, ago. Look. Yep, so yeah, you can see him smoking Duke Saiba. Awesome. And it gives you the design team. There's Ed Boone, John Tobias, Dan Forden, John Vogel with a voice. Cool. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook. We got a lot of a uh, lot more videos coming. A lot of gameplay videos. Right now, I'm uh, working on a Tubin restoration. So be sure to check that out. A lot of pics and videos coming of that. Okay. Take care.